Lake Melville, an estuary located within Labrador, Canada, is home to an important local species, the rainbow smelt. Smelt are anadromous, living within the estuary but moving to streams and rivers during the spawning season where they lay their eggs. After hatching, the larvae move downstream into the low salinity surface layer to feed and grow. They are the most abundant forage fish species and are preyed on by ring seals, gadids, and salmonids, and are also an important food source for local communities. Smelt are a trophic intermediate, which means they funnel energy from prey items such as amphipods and sand lance to higher order predators, regulating the abundance of both the lower and higher trophic levels. However, with the operation of the Muskrat Falls hydroelectric project underway, a disruption of the natural freshwater flow regime is expected to occur, and because life history processes of most anadromous fishes are closely synchronized with seasonal cycles and environmental conditions such as temperature change and freshwater input, this modification to the natural flow regime may also disrupt the life history processes of species such as the rainbow smelt, having cascading impacts on other local species. In order to gain an understanding of how the Muskrat Falls project might impact rainbow smelt, the fish ship team has conducted baseline data collection within Lake Melville, collecting larval smelt during the 2018 and 2019 acoustic surveys and adult smelt from local fishers and collaborators. From these samples, we will determine the growth rates of both the larval and adult smelt as well as the hatch dates, age of sexual maturity, and gonadal somatic index of presumed spawning and non-spawning individuals. Preliminary analysis from a sample of 267 adult rainbow smelt has shown that the average age is 5, while the most dominant age class is 6. It has also shown that females are larger than males across all year classes. Similarly, during the presumed spawning season of February and March, females have a markedly higher GSI, with the average being 14.8 and 17.9% respectively, while the average GSI for males was 2.2 and 2.5% respectively. During the non-spawning season, the average GSI for both males and females is 0.6% in August, increasing in September to 3.0%. Additional analyses are being conducted, and the results from this study will be an important baseline for future research conducted in Lake Melville and will help inform conservation decisions moving forward.